Imagine looking up at the sun, a giant fiery ball that powers life on Earth. Its energy has fueled our planet for billions of years, making life possible and driving the cycles of nature. Every sunrise is a reminder of the immense power radiating from this star, a power that has inspired humans for generations. Now, picture capturing a piece of that star and using it to power our cities. Imagine harnessing the same process that lights up the sun, but here on Earth, to provide clean, abundant energy for everyone. This dream, once the realm of science fiction, is now becoming a reality thanks to decades of research and innovation. In January 2025, Chinese scientists achieved a breakthrough. After years of tireless effort, they sustained a nuclear fusion reaction in their artificial sun for a record time. This achievement marks a significant milestone in the global race to unlock fusion energy, and it's a moment of pride, not just for China, but for the entire scientific community. This machine, called EAST, is at the heart of humanity's quest for nuclear fusion, the very process that powers the stars. Inside its donut-shaped chamber, hydrogen atoms are fused together at extreme temperatures, releasing vast amounts of energy, just like in the core of the sun. Fusion promises nearly limitless clean energy with minimal waste. Unlike fossil fuels, it doesn't produce harmful emissions or long-lived radioactive waste, making it a potential game-changer in the fight against climate change and pollution. The recent success in China is a beacon of hope, showing we can contain a star's power on Earth. It's a glimpse into a future where energy is abundant, affordable, and sustainable for all. Building a machine that withstands temperatures hotter than the sun's core, over 150 million degrees Celsius, is one of humanity's greatest engineering feats. Every component must endure extreme conditions, pushing the limits of science and technology. We're learning to control superheated plasma, matter in a state rarely found on Earth, using only magnetic fields. These invisible forces act as a cage, keeping the plasma suspended and away from the reactor walls, a delicate balance that requires precision and constant innovation. The fact that we're succeeding is a testament to human ingenuity and international collaboration. Scientists and engineers from around the world are working together, sharing knowledge and expertise, united by a common goal, to create a better future for all. This story is about the relentless pursuit of a cleaner, brighter future. It's about hope, determination, and the belief that we can solve even the greatest challenges facing our planet. In this chapter, we'll explore what fusion is, how the remarkable East reactor works, and why this breakthrough matters for the world. We'll dive into the science, the technology, and the people behind this incredible achievement. The quest for energy is the quest for our civilization's future. Fusion energy could transform our world, powering cities, industries, and homes with clean, sustainable energy for generations to come. So what is nuclear fusion? It's a process that has fascinated scientists and dreamers alike for generations, often described as the holy grail of energy production. But what does it really mean, and why is it so important? Unlike today's nuclear plants, which split heavy atoms in a process called fission, fusion works by joining together the lightest elements, typically hydrogen isotopes, under conditions of extreme heat and pressure. This is the same reaction that powers the stars, including our own sun. When deuterium and tritium, two forms of hydrogen fuse, they create helium and unleash an enormous amount of energy. This is the very process that fuels the sun's incredible power, lighting up our solar system and making life on Earth possible. What's truly remarkable is that deuterium is found in abundance in ordinary seawater, while tritium can be produced from lithium, another element that's widely available on Earth. This means the raw materials for fusion are accessible and plentiful. With these resources, fusion's fuel supply is virtually limitless, offering the potential for energy security for generations to come. Even better, the main byproduct of fusion is harmless helium, the same gas that fills party balloons. There are no carbon emissions, and unlike traditional nuclear power, fusion doesn't produce long-lived radioactive waste, Fusion is also inherently safe. If anything goes wrong, the reaction simply stops on its own, eliminating the risk of catastrophic meltdowns or runaway reactions. Imagine a world where clean, abundant energy is available to everyone. No more pollution, no more dependence on fossil fuels, and no more conflicts over scarce resources. Fusion could help create a future where energy is a source of peace, not strife. With fusion, we could power water desalination plants to provide fresh water, 
support vertical farms to feed growing populations, and even propel spacecraft on journeys to other planets. This inspiring vision has driven scientists and engineers to work tirelessly for decades, overcoming immense technical challenges and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Now, with the recent breakthrough at the EAST facility, that dream is closer than ever to becoming reality. It's a moment of hope and excitement for the entire world. Fusion represents a fundamental shift from a world of energy scarcity and environmental challenges to one of abundance, sustainability, and opportunity for all. The star power we've dreamed of for so long is finally within reach, promising a brighter, cleaner, and more prosperous future for everyone on Earth. Let's take a closer look inside this remarkable machine and see how it works, step by step. East is what's known as a tokamak, a massive donut-shaped chamber, carefully engineered and surrounded by a network of extremely powerful magnets. This unique shape and design are essential for containing the intense reactions happening inside. The process begins when hydrogen gas is injected into the chamber. Using advanced heating systems, the gas is then superheated until it transforms into plasma, a state of matter where electrons are stripped from atoms. This plasma reaches temperatures of over 100 million degrees Celsius, which is actually much hotter than the core of our sun. On Earth, we need to reach these extreme temperatures because unlike the sun, we don't have the benefit of immense gravitational pressure to force atomic nuclei together. Instead, we rely on heat and magnetic fields to make fusion possible. To contain this ultra-hot plasma, East uses superconducting magnets cooled to near absolute zero. These magnets generate incredibly strong magnetic fields, which act like invisible walls, keeping the plasma suspended and away from the reactor's physical walls. The real challenge is maintaining stability. The plasma is turbulent and constantly tries to escape, so keeping it stable and preventing it from touching the chamber walls is a major scientific and engineering feat. In January 2025, the EAST team achieved a breakthrough by sustaining high-performance plasma for over 1,000 seconds, setting a new world record and pushing the boundaries of what's possible in fusion research. They accomplished this by refining their heating techniques, using more precise and efficient methods to keep the plasma at the right temperature for longer periods. At the same time, advanced feedback systems constantly monitored the plasma, making real-time adjustments to control instabilities and prevent disruptions. This achievement shows that we're learning how to tame the power of the stars, keeping the plasma stable for longer and longer durations, a key milestone for fusion energy. It's a crucial step on the path toward practical, limitless fusion power, bringing us closer to a future where clean, sustainable energy is a reality for everyone. The world took notice when East held plasma at 120 million degrees Celsius for over 17 minutes. This shattered previous records and proved we can sustain fusion conditions long enough for real-world power plants. The breakthrough was the result of years of progress, improving heating, exhaust systems, and real-time plasma control. EAST's team used AI and advanced diagnostics to keep the plasma stable in high confinement mode. This level of control is a blueprint for future reactors. Each new record builds confidence in fusion's potential. The 1, 0, 1, 2 second pulse is proof that a fusion-powered future is moving from theory to reality. The green light for fusion energy is shining brighter than ever. Fusion is a global quest, not a race. Scientists from Europe, the US, Japan, Korea, Russia, and India all collaborate and share breakthroughs. The biggest project is ITER in France, a massive international effort aiming for net energy gain. Lessons from East's long pulse control are vital for ITER's success. Other projects, like the UK's JET and Korea's Star, are also pushing boundaries. In the US, both public labs and private startups are exploring new fusion concepts. This diversity increases the odds of success. Fusion research thrives on international cooperation and open data. EAST's achievement is both a product of and a contribution to this global effort. Humanity is united in the challenge to build a star on Earth. How does fusion compare to today's clean energy giant, hydropower? Hydropower is reliable and mature, but limited by geography and can cause massive environmental disruption. Dams flood land, displace people, and harm ecosystems. Fusion, in contrast, has a small footprint and can be built almost anywhere. Its fuel, deuterium from seawater, is universally available. 
Fusion doesn't alter landscapes or disrupt rivers. Hydropower is available now, while Fusion is still in development. We need both hydropower where it's sustainable and Fusion as the long-term solution. Fusion could one day provide clean power everywhere, without the trade-offs of mega dams. The future of energy is a diverse mix with Fusion as the next leap forward. Consider China's proposed Machuo Dam on the Yarlung Sangpo River. If built, it would be the world's largest, generating over 60 gigawatts, three times the Three Gorges Dam. The benefits massive clean power, economic growth, and progress toward carbon neutrality. But the costs are huge flooding biodiverse regions, risking earthquakes, and threatening downstream nations' water supplies. The Machuo project highlights the trade-offs of mega dams, environmental damage, and geopolitical tension. In contrast, a fusion plant of similar capacity would have a tiny footprint and minimal impact. No displaced communities, no ecosystem destruction, no water conflicts. Machuo represents the old paradigm, reshaping nature on a grand scale. Fusion points to a future where we harness the universe's forces with precision and care. Despite progress, big challenges remain. Fusion is not yet self-sustaining. No experiment has produced more energy than it consumes. ITER aims to achieve this ignition, but it's still experimental. After ITER, we'll need demonstration plants that reliably feed electricity to the grid. Reactor materials must withstand intense neutron bombardment without degrading. Efficiently breeding tritium fuel is another complex hurdle. Fusion plants are currently expensive to build and operate. Costs must come down for fusion to compete with other energy sources. Achieving net gain, durable materials, fuel breeding, and economic viability are the next mountains to climb. East's success is a milestone, but the summit is still ahead. As of July 2025, the future of energy is more hopeful than ever. East's achievement is a symbol of human potential, harnessing the power of the stars. Fusion, alongside projects like ITER and private startups, is becoming a tangible reality. Our energy future will be a tapestry hydropower, solar, wind, storage, geothermal, advanced fission, and ultimately, fusion. Fusion is the ultimate prize, clean, abundant power that could solve energy, water, and food challenges for billions. Success requires investment, collaboration, and patience. We must support both frontier research and today's clean technologies. The story of East and Motuo is about humanity daring to solve problems on a cosmic scale. The stars are no longer just distant wonders, they're a blueprint for our survival. The journey to a fusion-powered world has truly begun.